And new details today on a controversy involving New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg's anti-gun group, which is called Mayors Against Illegal Guns. Yesterday we told you how that group recently read the names of victims of gun violence aloud. They're on this long tour, and they were on the third stop of the tour in Concord, uh, New Hampshire. And, and among the victims' names of gun violence that they read was the Boston Marathon bomber, Tamerlan Sarnayev who was killed, yes, by a gun, also by his brother running him over as he was trying to evade police. But the reason they shot him, of course, is because he was shooting them and throwing bombs at them after he bombed the Boston Marathon and killed another cop. But now we're hearing that he was not the only murder suspect on the list of so-called victims. Also named and memorialized by this anti-gun group, cop killer Christopher Dorner. The man accused in a series of deadly attacks on police and their families in California, which ended in a fierce gun battle with police. He apparently killed himself with a gun as police closed in on him, but we memorialized him as well. Mayors Against Illegal Guns told BuzzFeed that the list didn't come from them. It comes from a website, from Slate.com, and it's being corrected. But they say attention should really be on the, quote, very real and personal cost of gun violence. Joining me now to discuss the fallout, Alan Combs, host of The Alan Combs Show, and Mike Gallagher, who's a syndicated radio host and a Fox News contributor. So it's not just Dorner and Sarnayev. Um, we just took a look at just a couple of others. There's Kurt Myers. This is a guy from New York State who uh, he shot two people, wounded two others, and no, he killed four people. He killed four people in addition to a canine dog, police dog, who's his first venture out, shot him through, through a door. So he's been memorialized by this group as a victim of, of gun violence. And also Kevin Bailey, who's from Ohio, who shot at cops and hit one before they shot in self-defense and killed him, and Dorner and Sarnayev and so on. And my question to you, Mike, is does this completely delegitimize this list? Well, I mean, this is business as usual for the anti-Second Amendment crowd. I mean, the, the, the true numbers don't lie, but these guys like to lie about the numbers. I suppose, uh, and, and I don't want to speak for, for the left or for Alan here, but I suppose they think that even bad guys killed by, by a gunshot are somehow still victims of gun violence. I mean, there, there are very real numbers that ought to get our attention. They love to throw around this 30,000 deaths a year due to gun violence. 18 to 20,000 of those are suicides. And, 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 and you can't give me the malarkey that, well, if they didn't have the gun, they wouldn't kill themselves. In a, in a country like Japan that only has 41% of our population, 30 to 35,000 people a year in Japan kill themselves without guns. And so the, the whole practice is deception. It's to take numbers and twist and distort them in a way that offends everybody. And frankly, this, this whole mayors against illegal guns, I mean, just the title, uh, enough is goofy and ought to be eye-rolling. I mean, is that opposed to the mayors for illegal guns group? I mean, it, it's, it's nonsensical. It's, it's Bloomberg's fierce agenda to well, take away the right with, to keep and bear with arms. Bloomberg, it's also mayors against legal guns because he, he wants fewer legal guns to be out there. But, Alan, your thoughts on all this? I think that uh, simply say because there's some names that shouldn't be on this list, uh, that uh, should somehow obscure the real message that we should be gleaning from this as a mistake. Uh, sure, the list has some errors on it. That does not and should not obfuscate what's really going on here, the number of violent uh, gun incidents that have taken place since Newtown. Thousands of them. In fact, more people than it seems have died in the war in Iraq. For example, we could use the same argument Mike just used on the other side with the no-fly list that came out shortly after 9-11. And there were 20,000 people on the no-fly list, actually uh, 20,000 of them, but 2,000 people called the TSA to complain and say they shouldn't have been on the list. That's 10 percent. But the Should feds are not running around saying, because of these 20,000, uh, right. something needs to be done. What ha these mayors are using this, this group, is using this list as a piece of propaganda well, to say we've had 6,000 deaths well, the, since Newtown and the, it has to stop. It's all due to right. gun violence. The, point, the numbers are the, inflated. The truth, the circumstances the, of those deaths matter. Uh, if I could finish my point, the point I was trying to make, we could have made the argument on the other side that all these people were at a no-fly list who were dangerous to, to increase the number of people perceived as dangerous to America. But, but, but we all understood why that... Why don't you speak no, to that, my point? Speak to my point if you can, because it, 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 truth matters. Well, the of circumstances of these deaths matter. 
Yes, of course. And, and what, let's not minimize the number of people, though, who were killed by gun violence by saying there's some I'm wrong people I'm not minimizing it. List. You know who's minimizing it? Mayors against illegal guns who have uh, delegitimized right. their own list, Mike. Well, well, that, if it was Megan, willful. Wait a Megan, minute. Was that willful? Was Megan, it a willful Okay, wait, wait. Let me just, let me just speak Megan. to that, and then I'm going to give the floor to Mike. It wasn't willful. They say they got the list from Slate.com, and Slate says it wasn't our bad because we, we, didn't, we never called them victims. We said people right. who died as a result of guns. <laughs> and then Mayor Bloomberg's group decided to add the term victim. But let me ask you this, Mike. This is the third stop, the one in Concord. They've done three of these already. Right. You're telling me nobody who got up there and, and took, place in the, or took part in these rallies understood when they said Tamerlan Sarnayev that they weren't talking right. about a list of victims? It's inconceivable that they didn't know that, 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 that Sarnayev was on this list. But again, this is part of the way these people feel in their heart of hearts. I mean, you were just questioning my buddy Alan, who managed to include the people in Iraq with gun violence statistics. I mean, these folks have this, this, this bizarre world, world view that, that, that we got to figure out a way to keep everybody alive and safe, which would be wonderful. But the truth of the matter is facts do matter. Yeah. And, to, and to pretend that violent, awful people should be included in a list. Of course, to your question, Megan, about whether the mayors against illegal guns should be illegitimate. Of course, they are illegitimate. It's a ridiculous effort to yep. gin up an effort to take away the right to keep uh, and bear arms from American citizens. What? That's they didn't have their to do goal. This. And when That's they Bloomberg's did it, when they did it, has been. I'm going to give respond. you the last word, Alan. But when they did it at the, in Concord, the reason this got attention was finally people in the audience said, He's a terrorist. They, the right. people who were there who were anti-gun started what is, getting ticked <laughs> off saying, don't tell me Tamerlan Sarnayev is a gun violence victim. What is illegitimate right. is saying because there's some names that should not be on the list, therefore the whole movement to get bad people off the street with guns they shouldn't have is somehow illegitimate. That's illegitimate to make that claim because there are some names that shouldn't be on the list. Therefore, the whole Bloomberg Alan. effort is not credible. That's really all, all an exaggeration. Well, and you're whole, well, let me finish. Let me, please, force, let me finish. The report forced you, then Slate to come out and say making, the list includes other wrongdoers, you are, people who committed suicide, right. People yes. who died in accidents, right? And, uh, and, and you know, suicides. and so on. It is not just. It is not true victims Gun on this violence, list. The numbers so you're need a victim. to be properly categorized. I'm sorry, I, I mean, gotta go. It's a you're a victim if you kill yourself with a gun. You're still a victim yeah. too. Oh, right. yeah, there okay. we go. It's the gun's fault, Alan, we'll not the person. Blame <laughs> right. the gun. Thank you, panel. <laughs>